Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders that rule well. And peace and blessings to you, brothers out there that's kicking this thing in uh, sincerity and truth. We're coming in the last days, and uh, as you can see, a lot of people are falling out. A lot of people uh, you know, are, are giving up on uh, the truth. And that's it could be for many reasons, man. But the biggest thing that we have to understand is... Uh, Yahweh Shai told us that this was going to happen, man. Uh, the parable that comes to mind, as I'm saying this, uh, is the parable in Matthew the 13th chapter. It goes into uh, different seeds and uh, how eventually some, you know, are uh, smothered out, you know, by, you know, various things. And, uh, you know, some seeds uh, produce, uh, you know, uh, sevenfold, you know, or... Uh, basically produce uh, more in the truth and are, are accepted in the kingdom of heaven, you know So I'm just gonna go ahead and dive into it. This is a uh, Matthew uh, I started at 2 13 and 2 and a great multitudes were gathered together unto him so that he went into a ship and sat and the whole whole multitude stood on the shore and the and he spake many things unto them in parables saying behold a, a sower went forth to sow and when he sowed uh, some seeds fell, uh, sell by, uh, seeds fell by the wayside and the fowls came and devoured them up some some fell upon the stony places uh, where they had not much earth and wherewith they sprung up because they had no deadness uh, of, of earth and we have to understand that Yahweh Shah when he's, when he's talking about different seeds he's, he's alluding to different uh, people that actually been inside the truth you know you know that have heard the truth you know you have some people when they hear it, case in force on the highways and byways they hear it and you know it, it thinks that they don't think anything of it so they fall by the wayside quickly um, yeah some when they hear it you know the, they don't have enough uh, depth in them, you know, so they can't they can't receive it, you know. And and when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell on thorns, and thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit. Some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. That's right. So you're gonna have some some uh some people, you know, when that sun comes and the persecution comes, you know, they're gonna they're gonna or, or thorns come, but basically adversity comes, they're gonna be uh choked out, you know, they they're gonna uh, give up on the truth, man. You know. But uh, but it says uh well it's fell on good ground and brought forth fruit. That's right. That's brothers that's labeling toiling in this thing, man. You know. And as we read down, uh, the house shot is going to be able to expound on it more, you know, than I can. You know, I'll just break it down briefly. But we're going to read down. And he's going to uh, give you understanding of what he's what he meant. You know, uh, who who had ears let uh, ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him. Why speakest thou unto them in parables? So you understand if you read up that Yahweh Shai was speaking to a multitude of people. And so the disciples came in and said, Why are you speaking to these, these people in, in parables? You know. So this is what Yahweh Shai says. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath uh, to him shall be given. And he shall have more abundance, but whosoever hath not uh, from uh, from him shall be taken away, even that even that he hath. That's right. So right there is let you know that this 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 thing is not for everybody, man. You know, and if you read up those those seeds that fell by the wayside, those are, those are the people who just can't understand it, just can't grasp it, man. You know. Uh. Uh, this is uh, 13, the 13th thirteen verse. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, 
and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, uh, which had saith, By hearing ye, ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and, and shall not perceive. That's right. So what does that mean? Does it, does it mean that they are, you know, mentally challenged or, you know, uh, mentally disabled? No. What that, what that means is that they, they can hear what we're saying. These did not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm meaning that, you know, non, the non-believers, you know, they hear what we're saying, but they can't understand it, man. You know? And that's for people who, who once again, fell by that wayside, man. You know? Therefore, speak I to them in peril, because they see and see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall, un shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and, not, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and these ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and shall should understand with their heart and shall be converted and, and I shall hear them. That's right. It says, uh, the, for this people's heart is waxed gro uh, gross. What that means is these people's minds have wet, uh, waxed gro uh, gross because they're given unto uh, to idols. You know, I want to look up the word gross for you brothers, you know, because I feel like it'll bring home a point if we look that up, you know. It says, uh, here we go right here. Pacuno? Pacuno. Strong's G, 3975. Pacuno. 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 To make dick. To make fat, fat metaphor, to make stupid, to render the soul dull or callous, man. So they're saying that our people's souls, our, their, their minds are wet, uh, wet, stupid, you know, uh, to make, to render the soul dull or callous. That's right. Our people's souls are callous, bro. They're hardening, they have hardened their heart to the will of Yahweh by Shimei Shah. So the stuff that we're saying is foreign to them. They're not going to get it. This is a uh, the sixteenth verse, but uh, bless are your eyes for they see, and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous people have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye heard, and have not heard them. Hear ye, uh, hear ye therefore the parable. Of the sword. That's right. So now it's gonna go into the parable. He, he's gonna expound on the, the, the uh, parable of the sword, man. You know, because now he's talking about people that are uh, not only heard the truth and they fell by the wayside, or uh, but it's, it's he's gonna go into people who have heard the truth and you know for whatever reason they fell out. You know, and 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 within them falling out, man, those seven those seven demons that came came back into them. You know. And they have waxed worse than before, so we gotta take heed to that, brother. Uh, to, uh, uh, to that, brothers, w what we're seeing uh, with uh, you know all the other fallouts, all these fallouts, you know, bucking up against the truth, man. That that has to do with those demons uh, coming back and attacking them, man. You know, you know, they, we could we could name numerous uh, demons, but ultimately we know that that uh, Satan got a hold to these people's mind, man. You know. So this is back to uh, Matthew 13 and 18. Hear ye therefore the uh, par a parable of the sword. When in any of when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understand it not, then cometh the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received uh, received seed by the wayside. But he that receiveth the seed in, into stony grounds, the same is he that heard the word, and anon with joy received it. And I wonder what that word uh, anon means. Just, a, just for clarification, I'm just, you know, curious to see what it says. 
you you does Strong's G twenty one seventeen Euthus 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 Straight uh level straight forward upright true sincere straight way immediately or uh, for or uh, for with so let's read that one more time so we can get clarification of what it's saying. Slocky, let me exit out of this right quick. Okay. It says, but he that receiveth the uh, sea in, into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word and anon with joy uh, received it. So when he heard, so this is going to person, when he heard the word, straight away he received it, uh, with joy he received it. He was like, okay, man, I believe in what y'all saying, man. Verse 21. Yet, however, uh, hath he not root in himself, man, the two, uh, but uh, dureth for a while, for with tribulation or persecution arises because of the wind, by and by he is offended. That's right, man. So you're going to have people out there, you know, they hear the word and they accepted it. But they wouldn't root it, you know. They're going to be in these camps for six years, you know, uh, uh, five years, three years, man. But when persecutions arise, uh, persecution arises or tribulation arises, guess what's going to happen? They're going to be offended and they're going to fall out, man, you know. And now what we're seeing is we're seeing people that would have, were offended fall out and they're starting to blame the truth on, uh, they're blaming the truth you know, uh, for their uh, uh, shortcomings, you know, and not coming to grips that, hey, you, 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 you need to change, man. It ain't the people that you were working with, and ain't the truth is you, bro. It ain't the doctrine is you, you know. So now they're going on a, a slandering campaign. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is verse 22. He also that received uh, received uh, seed among the thorns. He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of the of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the world, choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. That's right, man. So yeah, people out there, you know, tired of being down and out, tired of tired of uh, worrying about the, the woes of the world. Cause it's more than just materialism that that uh you know, induces brothers to fall out. A lot of times, it's just really it's comfort, man, and that embodies you know not only riches but shoot the uh, you, the philosophy of doing what you want to do. So you're gonna have a lot of people out there that's falling out. It's gonna fall out because they want to find themselves. You know, they want to um, pursue after after uh, their uh, their uh, lust. Case in point, you know you. You know, you might have somebody out there that's a boxer. You know, he he wants to be a boxer, so he he's uh putting more work in, uh, in the gym than you know doing doing uh sit downs. You know, or you know, um, being engaged on the highways and byways, things of that nature, man. You know, or you know this that that could be an example. Or somebody who just wanna you know get one money so you they could go on trips, they could buy this and buy that, man. All those are care of the world, and eventually, you know, they're going to choke you out, man, because no man can serve two masters, you see? Like it says in uh, Matthew, I, I want to say the sixth chapter, man. You can't serve the most high and mammon, you know? Putting this thing first is not uh, a, a pleasing to the flesh, man. So you're going to have a lot of people out there that's going to fall out because they want to please their flesh, you know, the cares of the world, you know? This uh read that verse one more time. Verse twenty two. He uh actually I started uh yeah, let's go to twenty two. He also that receives receive seed among the thorns is he that hear the word and the care of, of this world and the deceitfulness of, of riches choke the word and he become unfruitful. But he that receiveth seed into the good ground is he that hear the word and understand it. And understandeth it, uh, which also beareth fruit, and bringeth forth some a hundredfold, some sixty, 
60 and some 30. And that's right, man. And that's going into that's going in that's going into uh you know a brother out there that heard this word and is, and is producing it and is enduring in this thing, man. And that last uh verse, verse 23, that's who we want to be in this truth, I can We want to steady producing until until Yahweh by Shem Shah returns, man. You know, until we'll you know, that's where we will be found faithful, you know. It doesn't matter how long you know we've been working on in this thing. What matters is if we we uh, finish, you know. So, uh, with that being said, I just want to encourage brothers, you know, let's stay on the right path. We're seeing examples of people, uh, of those seeds being choked out by various things, man. You know, thorns. Um, uh, you know, uh, case of the world. You know. Things of that nature, man. So, you know, let's just stay on point on what we need to be doing. With that being said, all praises to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shah, double, double honors to the apostles and, and the elders that rule well. And peace and blessings to you, brothers out there that's kicking this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. On.